Hello and welcome to another Fusion Extreme Photoshop tip. Today we're going to talk about skin tones. And we're going to work on showing you how to correct skin tones and give you really great skin tones on a Caucasian model that is not really tanned. Not overly tanned. If you have a swimsuit model, an African American model, or any other woman of color, you're, this won't work. But right now we're going to go ahead and cover uh, skin tones on a fair-skinned Caucasian female. Uh, what we're going to do here, uh, this is Ashley, and, and Ashley, the, the, the shot looks okay, but it's a little bit flat. And sure, could could pop a little bit better, and the skin tones could be a lot nicer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I would go about doing that. Now, the first thing that I do, always, is I come over here to the Layers palette. Now, if you don't have your Layers palette showing, come up to Window, Click on Layers or hit F7, and your Layers palette will show up. A couple ways to do this. You can either drag your background image down to this little icon right here. You can either drag your, your background image to here, and that will create a background copy, or you can right click uh, on it and go ahead and click on duplicate layer background copy there you go you have a background copy and that's what we want to work with so we're not messing up the original image now what I want to do with this this might get a little complicated stay with me it's really not that difficult what I want you to do is come back up and make sure your info tab is clicked and if you look right up in the corner here you'll see my info tab right here. It's got a whole bunch of numbers down here, the CMYK, the RGB, it's got a lot of stuff here and I only want you to pay attention during this tutorial to what's in the CMYK uh, box right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to Image, Adjust, and Curves. I've brought up Curves. Now, if you're not familiar with Curves, follow with me here. Okay. Now I'm going to select right here from this little box that says RGB, I'm going to select red. Now I'm going to come over here to a spot. I like to go right above the eye where there's a highlighted area, a little bit lighter. You see how this skin right here is a little darker. The skin is a little lighter. I like to come right here, right around here. And I like to hit shift and click. And that leaves a little spot here and that, that'll always uh, keep me as a reminder that that's the area that I'm working with. I put the eyedropper tip right on that and if I look over all the way to my right um, if you look all the way over to the right in the info box you will see 34, 53, and 64. I'm sorry about that. Let me move it up just a little bit. 29, 42, 55, and 3 in your CMYK box. Now we're going to forget completely forget the K. Let's go with the C, M, and Y, which by a, which is your percentages of cyan, magenta, and yellow. Now we want that to be between 10 percent for the cyan, thirty percent for magenta, and fifty five percent. I mean, and between thirty and forty on the yellow. That's going to be up to your taste. So ten, thirty, forty instead of. 29, 42, 55. Now how do I go about changing those numbers? What I do is I come back to my little spot right here and I click right on that spot. And in my curves box, right over here on the um, on this red line here, when I click on here you will see a little, a little marker come up, a little circle. I want to go right back to that circle and I want to drag it towards this upper corner right here. I want to drag it just a little bit and then as I come back to my spot and I look at the CMYK over in the corner way over there you will see it's now at 16 next to the C. I want to get it to where it's 10 or just a little bit below 10. So I go a little further. Now it looks like I'm messing up the image but by the end you'll see I'm not. Okay 8%. 8% works. That's fine for me. So now what I want to do I'm going to come here and go down to green. And again, right here, if I look at the spot here, I'm now at 9. And again, way back over here in this palette, 
if you look, 9, 53, and 54. If I click on that spot, on the green line that you see in the curves box, you see the little circle come up? I'm going to grab right about there, and again, I'm going to drag it towards that upper corner. I'm going to go back and look and see where I'm at. Now I'm at 10, 32, 54. I could probably go a little bit more, not a lot, and that should be good. Now the image looks all messed up, looks completely yellow. It won't once I come down to blue. I do this, I repeat, I repeat the procedure again. I come back here, now it says 10, 28, 56. I click on that little spot, and you see on the blue line now, a little circle shows up right smack in the center. I'm going to grab that, I'm going to pull it up near the corner. And I'm now at 11, 33, or about 10, 11, 30, 43. I want to come up a little bit more. That's a little too far. Okay, I want to be, again, I want to be between 10, 30, 40, and 10, 30, 30. Anywhere in there. That's pretty good. 11, 30, yeah, right, right around in there. I'm good. 10, 29, 42. That's pretty darn close. So now what I do is I go back to RGB right here. To RGB. And what I want to do, I want to pull this right where this, you see where these lines intersect. This line intersects with this line. I want to grab that and I want to pull it down just a little bit. And pull this one right where these lines intersect up just a tad. What I'm doing is increasing the contrast just a little bit. And I click OK. Now, what I have here, let's view, let's clear all of the extras. Uh, let's click that, and now they're all gone. And you can see what the image looks like. Her skin looks much, much better. Now let's look at the original. I'm going to come back over here in my Layers palette. I'm going to click this. That was the original. That is when I'm done with it. Looks much better. Maybe a little bit more yellow than what we want. Um, I prefer it to not be quite that yellow. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and correct it a little bit further. I still have that little dot right here. And let's make it go, let's bring it back down just a tad. I'm going to go back to image, adjust, curves, just like we did before. And the yellow and the blue are on the same, they're on the same line. What you do, when you come right here, yellow is the opposite of blue here. If I click here, it's at 44, I click on it. What I want to do, I'm at, I want to come back, drag right where that little spot was, pull it up just a little bit. Say OK. I come back, I look. I'm at 9, 29, 29. That's pretty close to 10, 30, 30. That works for me. View. Let's get rid of the extras. And look what we have here. Beautiful image with great skin tone. Her skin tone rocks. If you always pick a highlight area, usually right above the eye, a highlight area, and you look, if you can get that skin tone to just about 10, 30, 30, or between 10, 30, 30, and 10, 30, 40, depending on your taste, you're going to have great skin tone. And it also helps to, to compensate in case your monitor is not perfectly calibrated. Anyway, there you go. That's a great way to get good skin tone on an image. Hope you enjoyed this Photoshop tip. Make it your own. There are a lot of ways to do this, a lot of ways to improve on this. Um, go ahead and make it your own. Thanks a lot for listening to another Photoshop tip brought to you by Fusion Extreme.